mean, this is going to be so, so useful to add the crispiness and grit to, to the sounds. It's a... I'm already in love with this, uh, with the sound of this. Hi, Matthias here, and welcome to a first look video on Bitwig 5.1. Right, so that was uh, two new patches, uh, just a <laughs> quick jam there. Uh, two new patches that I made with uh, the new uh, oscillators and the new filters uh, that comes with a bit 5.1. On the first patch, I have the polymer synth and we have uh, the new byte oscillator. We will uh, look at more on that a little bit later here. And the fizz filter. So it's a fun little filter which has uh, this uh, color value and I'm modulating that with uh, this uh, random NFO. And that is uh, what gives it this uh, kind of glassy kind of modulation. And then I added a little bit of LFO modulation also to the filter to give us uh, a little bit of uh, some more movement in the sound. And then of course the Valhalla Supermassive as the reverb to give it that lush sound. I made this preset super quickly with this new oscillator and, and the filter here. So let's uh, take a closer look on uh, the oscillator, the byte oscillator. We have two different uh, oscillators. And you can see you can select from a whole bunch of different uh, waveforms. And they can also be modulated. So you can also add uh, modulation to these parameters and, and get mo even further movement on in the actual oscillator. And the second one, we can select uh, the same, yeah, the same different uh, wave shapes. And then there's an XFM pulse width modulation. And ring modulation. And then we have the amount of uh, volume between the oscillator level, between oscillator A and oscillator B. And then the fizz filter. It's really a nice sweet, the crisp sound with this new filter. So let's look at the second patch. There's also the polymer synth with a byte oscillator, but the new vowels filter. <laughs> this is going to be a really useful, usable filter to get those kind of vocal quality patches. Now it's sets of female, maybe we should try the men. So can you hear there's a slightly difference how the the I guess it's the EQ notches how they're set for uh, for the different um, vowel types. Yeah. 
Yeah, so really usable and very creative kind of filter. And then at the end of this chain, I, I just have the chorus to to lively up the sound a little bit and give it more like character and even further like movement. Right, so let's take a look at the Bitwig website to see what's actually new in this new release, 5.1. You can see there's a whole bunch of new filters, the Fizz, Rasp, Ripple, Vowels filter. And some new distortions like the Push, Heat, Soar, Howl, Shred and Diode distortion. And two new filter modules, the Filter Plus and the Sweep. So this will be really interesting to, uh, to try out in, in Bitwig. So now this patch actually has a lot of movement already in with the filter. So let's deactivate the filter in Polymer and maybe try to add Filter Plus outside here. That's uh, really, really awesome to have uh, an overdrive or wave shaper already in, in the filter. So now it's set to the heat character as shaped clipper that starts soft but then can drive hard. Yes, yeah, so we can activate and deactivate the anti aliasing if we want to uh, have a smoother processed sound. Let's uh, try the rasp filter within uh, this uh, filter plus. I mean this is going to be so so useful to add the uh, crispiness and grit to to the sounds. It's a uh, I'm already in love with this uh, with the sound of this. Perfect for lo-fi. Man, that's uh, some really sweet uh, news here in Bitwig Studio. I think that, um, to me, this is uh, one of the most uh, pleasurely sounding updates uh, to Bitwig Studio so far. I also read that there's some news uh, to the mixer. So you're supposed to be able to customize uh, the mixer further. Let's take a look at the website again. There are some new voice stacking tools to further manipulate how how the voice stacking should work and uh, configure the voice stacking and the mixer. Yeah, sweet to be able to uh, control the width. And uh, it's really useful sometimes to expand the height of, uh, of the level meter so you can have a like more refined uh, and more granular representation of, uh, of the volumes. Right, so that's uh, my first look at uh, Bitwig Studio 5. We will take a deeper look in uh, a coming video, but uh, I just wanted to uh, 
take a quick look here at uh, the new filters and the new oscillator and uh, hear what kind of cool sounds that we can create with these new tools. Right, so uh, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. My name is Matthias. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.